Mount Everest in Nepal is the highest mountain in the world, reaching just over 29,000 feet or 8,850 meters. The highest in Rwanda is the volcanic peak of Mount Karisimbi, which is 4,510 meters or just over of Astor. There are many high mountains around the world. One of the most amazing features of many mountains is the existence of fossilized sea creatures and shells found their own. Hello, my name is Aziz. I live in Rwanda. My occupation is in IT. I came from Muslim family background. In the mountains of Peru, South America, at the 13,000 foot or 4,000 meter level, it has been climbed the giant oyster shells have been found. Some are 3.5 meters or 12 feet in diameter and weight up to 650 pounds. How did they get here? It appears that the mountains did not exist long ago and were pushed up recently. The sea creatures formed on sea bottom which was later pushed up from pressure below become these mountains. The sea creatures were lifted up as well. Alternatively, the mountains did exist but might have been smaller. The mountains were buried under water as the sea level rose. While the mountains were under water, the oysters migrated here. Later, sea level dropped. The animals were exposed and died leaving the shells. Which option is most reasonable? The reasonable explanation is that these mountains were once under water and the oyster made this area their home. The mountains were lifted up out of the water or the water lowered, leaving the oysters exposed. They died and their shells remain to this day. This is not a unique scenario. Marine life has been found in mountains all over the world, indicating that these mountains were once under water, where all these mountains raised up fast, faster than the rate of erosion. Not likely according to the evolution model, but very likely if there is another explanation. The only logical reasonable answer based on the evidence is that the water rose up over the mountains, the sea life came or was swept up into the sea area with the rising water and was lifted there on the mountains when the water receded. The only explanation for this process is the global flood. The flood commonly called Noah's flood. The flood described in the Bible. The flood which happened about 4,500 years ago, well within the creation time frame and now where near any evolutionary time frame, once again the evidence points to recent creation. Lake Titicaca straddles the border of Peru and Bolivia. It sits at an elevation of 3,812 meters or 12,507 feet. It is the highest navigable lake in the world. What is so amazing is that there is a salt water lake which has seaports. There is a remains range of the docks that could handle hundreds of ships. Why? a seaport at such an altitude with no access to any sea. The reason is that this was once at a sea level and there's a seaport and salt water fish in the lake. This is before the mountain were quickly raised up. When? During the flood of Noah's days. The mountains had only a few thousand years erosions, not millions or billions of years. 
Some scientists claim the oysters are not really oysters, but some of concretions that have built up. Today, there is no good research on these artifacts as they are large and in difficult location to retrieve, regardless of whether they are oyster or concretions or soothing else. There is ample other marine evidence in the mountains to maintain the climb made in this article. Do not believe everything you read and hear the news or TV and magazines. Do some simple research. Think about it and you will see how misinformation abounds. The Museum of Natural Science and History will demonstrate from scientific evidence that our world is not billions of years old. Evidence is all around us that the earth and all life on it is young, like 6,000 years or so. Will you help us share this truth? Donate today to see the museum built to become a reality in the next few years. Thank you.